You know, we remember this here all too well. Hurricanes Maria and Irma destroying Puerto Rico and parts of Florida. But what happened to the Virgin Islands? When you think about it, it wasn't in the headlines much. Our next guest tells us his tale in a movie being screened this week right here in Miami. Founder of Nightcap Media, Peter Bailey, lived through it all. He's here to tell us more. You know, we're briefly ch chatting yes, during the yeah. commercial break. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, there wasn't much emphasis put on the Virgin no, Islands. No, no, we're the forgotten paradise. But we're here right now, so it's great that we're getting some attention, yes. But it motivated you to, to make a yes, whole movie yes, about yes. it. Yes, yes, That's my home. We're the only place in modern history to be ever hit by two Category 5 storms in less than two weeks. And That's never happened. You're not just telling this story, Peter. You lived through yeah, this story. Yeah, yeah, I know so you died in those storms. <laughs> you know, I've grown, been in South Florida my entire yeah. life, so I know what it's like to experience storms. Not on an island, though. Not, mm. you know, there are certain codes here that don't apply exactly. to the islands. Can you describe, can you put it into words, what it was like surviving those storms? Um, it was like hell. It was like hell just descended on us, right? And it, it, it kind of makes you, it forces you to now focus on climate change and, and, and these issues. But it also, you know, Jen, what, what it does too, when you go through that life-changing experience, it unearths something, right? It unearths a, a certain power in, in what you can achieve. I like to say when nature and the rest of the world left us in darkness, we gave each other light. And I think the rest of America can be inspired by who we are in the Virgin Islands because we took care of each other. Right. That, that, that's what we did. You yeah. survived the unimaginable for many yes. people. You know, when people say, well, God gives his, his strongest soldiers the greatest test, well, mm -hmm. we actually did it. Like, we survived life's worst storms, and we're here to tell it. So in the movie, is it other survivors? Who yes, made it's, storms? it's my, my mother. This is the 15th stop on the tour. We've been at USC. We've been, at, we've been all around the country, and my mom, Anita Bailey, She's like a highlight of the film. So it's the former governor, high schoolers. It's, it's our community's voice and capturing our spirit. And um, it's been life changing. And I know it's, it's dedicated to your late father. Yes, Joseph Bailey, he passed. And um, that's kind of why I did the film because through art, we immortalize who we are. So I know when I'm gone 100 years from now, you get to know who we are as a people in the Virgin Islands through our eyes and our voice. And you're giving a voice to something yes. and somebody and people in an island Indeed. that many people don't get to hear from. Indeed. Peter Bailey, thank you so much thank for being you. here. For more information, you know what to do. Head to the website. You can also follow, follow Peter on social media.